What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are now going to move on to collaboration for mechanical design. So we are now finished with analysis for mechanical design for our Revit for Mechanical Design Professional Certification Preparation. Okay, so let us now move to collaboration for our mechanical design. So in this um, exercise, we are going to learn how to import and link files. Okay, so we will be using drawing files like AutoCAD drawing. Okay, so let's do this. So the first thing that we will be doing is we're going to import a CAD drawing. Okay, so to import a CAD drawing, so let's go to the insert tab and then look for import CAD. So let's click this one and then I'll just go to the exercise file which is this one so this is the model that we're going to import so i'm going to make sure that i can only see that on my current view that's why i'm going to check this if you are going to uncheck this you'll be able to see that as well in other view but i'm gonna check it so that i can only see that on the view where i have imported it okay and then after that for the positioning i'll just change this to center to center Okay, so center to center. So when you say importing, so importing a file brings the data into the Revit project. So you just need to select the CAD file and then pay attention to the options in our uh, contextual ribbon. Okay, and take note that imported CAD files can be exploded. So let me just open this one. I'll just use the default settings here like the colors is preserve, all the layers, and import units is auto detect. So I'll just select here open. So let's open that one. And there you go. So here's now our CAD drawing. So take note that this one, you can explode this. This is an imported CAD drawing. You can actually explode that one. Okay, and then you can also specify here the layers if you would like to delete it. Now, if you want to check the particular layer, let's say, for example, you want to know what is the layer of this uh, door here. Okay, so if you want to do that, so you just need to click the imported CAD file, and then there's an option here, query. Okay, so you just click that option, and then after that, you can now click this one and then it will now show you the import instance query and then it will tell you what is that particular element. So it's under the A door uh, layer and then you can see here the other information like the type, block name, and then style by. Okay, you can even select delete here if you want to delete that or you can hide that in view. All right, so that's how you use the import instance query. So I'll just select here, okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is, this is import, right? So, I'm going to undo to undo the importing of this CAD file. So, this time, I'm going to show you how to link a CAD file. Okay, so to link a CAD file, so from the Insert tab, so I'm going to select here, Link CAD. So, let's click this one. Again, I'll be selecting this. And then, Current View Only, Auto Center to Center. So, same options. So, different from the importing CAD file, linking a file does not import all the data into the project. A link is created and any updates to the link file will also update in the link. Also, additionally, link CAD files cannot be exploded. Okay? So, just remember that. So, let us select here, open to link the CAD file. There you go. So if I'm going to select this one, you see there's no option here to explode it. Okay? So import, if you want to update the CAD drawing, so you need to re-import it. Okay? But for the link CAD, so if you want to update your CAD drawing, so you need to update the original AutoCAD drawing, and then after that, you just need to reload the latest by going to the Insert tab, Manage link and then you go to CAD formats and then from here, there's an option here, reload. So if you up updated the AutoCAD drawing from the AutoCAD software, you save it. So you just need to go back again to your Revit. You go to CAD formats and then you select that CAD file and then you reload so that it will reload the latest provided that you don't change the address or the location of the CAD drawing. But if you change it, you have an option here to reload from so that 
you can uh, relocate the CAD drawing location. All right, so let me just cancel this one. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to link a Revit model because this one is CAD file, right? So I'm going to undo this one. So let me undo that. So I'm going to select here link Revit. Okay, so I'll be using here this one. This is my CAD drawing. All right, and then for the positioning, I'll just use this internal origin to internal origin. So I'll just select here open. Okay, and then let's wait while it's loaded. Yeah, there you go. So this is now our link file. So what I do is I'm going to usually or most of the time I select the link file and then I pin it. Same with your AutoCAD drawing. The reason why I'm pinning it so that I don't move the CAD file or the Revit file accidentally. So that's why you need to pin it. Okay, so that's how you link your Revit model. And then from here, you can now start doing your design after you link your architectural drawing, structural model. Okay, so that's it for this simple exercise. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.